Have you ever wondered what makes Canada one of the most attractive countries for immigrants worldwide? The allure of the Great White North lies not only in its stunning landscapes and quality of life, but also in its reputation as a welcoming haven. Its rich cultural tapestry woven from a myriad of traditions and the boundless opportunities for growth and success make it a beacon for many. Today, we delve into Canada's new immigration plan spearheaded by Minister Miller, set to revolutionize the immigration system in 2024. To understand the significance of this new plan, we must first look at the history of Canada's immigration system. Canada's immigration story is as old as the country itself. The first Immigration Act passed in the late 19th century was a key legislative move to attract European settlers to the vast and resource-rich land of Canada. It was around this time that the country started to see a significant influx of immigrants, mainly from the British Isles and Western Europe, transforming the demographic makeup of the country. Fast forward to the mid-20th century and Canada began to broaden its horizons. The introduction of the points-based system in the 1960s marked a turning point in Canada's immigration policy. This system, based on merit rather than nationality or race, attracted skilled immigrants from all corners of the world. This influx of skilled workers contributed significantly to Canada's economic growth and cultural diversity. In the late 20th and early 21st century, Canada's immigration policy continued to evolve focusing on attracting skilled workers, reuniting families, and providing refuge to those in need. The express entry system launched in 2015 streamlined the process for skilled immigrants to become permanent residents, further boosting Canada's economic growth. So you see, the immigration system has not just been about controlling the number of immigrants, it has also been a tool for nation building, economic development, and fostering cultural diversity. Indeed, the immigration system has played a crucial role in shaping the Canada we know today. Now comes the game-changer, Minister Miller's new immigration plan for 2024. In the vast and diverse landscape of immigration policies, Canada has always been a beacon of innovation and progress. And today we're going to delve into the heart of a fresh initiative that promises to revamp and streamline the current system. This is Minister Miller's new immigration plan for 2024 a blueprint that aims to transform the way immigrants become part of the Canadian tapestry. The primary objective of the new plan is to make the immigration process more efficient. It's an acknowledgement that the existing system, while robust, has room for improvement. With this plan in place, the government intends to reduce processing times, thereby accelerating the journey from application to permanent residency. Another significant goal is fairness. The new plan strives to ensure that all applicants, irrespective of their country of origin, have an equal shot at success. It aims to eliminate biases and promote diversity, embodying the true spirit of Canadian multiculturalism. The plan also focuses on strategic economic growth. It recognises that immigrants play a crucial role in driving Canada's economy forward. By aligning immigration policies with the nation's economic needs, the plan aims to foster growth, create jobs, and maintain Canada's competitive edge on the global stage. Finally, the plan is designed to be responsive. It acknowledges that the world is ever-changing and so too are the needs and aspirations of those seeking to call Canada home. Therefore, it promises to be adaptable, ready to evolve with the changing times and shifting circumstances. In essence, Minister Miller's new immigration plan for 2024 is not just about improving a system, it's about creating a vision for a more inclusive, prosperous and forward-thinking Canada. It's about acknowledging the value immigrants bring to the table and ensuring they have the best possible chance to succeed and thrive in their new homeland. This plan aims to make the immigration system more efficient, fair and responsive to Canada's economic needs. Scene script. Let's delve deeper into the key features of this groundbreaking plan. First and foremost, let's discuss the faster processing times. The new plan promises a more efficient system with significantly reduced waiting times for applications. Imagine, instead of months, your application could be processed in a matter of weeks. This is a major leap forward in terms of efficiency, and it's a change that will undoubtedly make the process smoother and less stressful. 
for those hoping to make Canada their new home. The second key point is the increased immigrant intake. The plan proposes a significant rise in the number of immigrants Canada will welcome each year. This is a reflection of Canada's commitment to diversity and its recognition of the immense contributions immigrants make to the nation's fabric. It's a bold move, one that signals Canada's welcome mat is wider and more inclusive than ever before. Thirdly, the plan focuses on improved support for newcomers. This includes better access to language training, job placement services and other resources that help immigrants integrate into Canadian society. It's not just about getting here, it's about thriving here. The government recognises that supporting newcomers in their early days can set them up for long-term success and they're committed to making that support readily available. Lastly, we have a more flexible selection system. The new plan is designed to be more responsive to Canada's economic needs. It aims to attract immigrants with a diverse range of skills and experiences, from tradespeople to tech gurus, from artists to academics. This broad-based approach ensures that Canada's economy remains dynamic and competitive in today's global market. These are not mere changes. They are transformative shifts designed to make the immigration process more efficient, inclusive and supportive. They are a recognition of the vital role immigrants play in shaping Canada's future and a commitment to making their journey to becoming a part of the Canadian family as smooth as possible. These features aim to enhance the immigrant experience and contribute to Canada's growth. What implications does this new plan hold for potential immigrants and Canada at large? Broadly speaking, Minister Miller's new plan seeks to create a more inclusive, efficient and responsive immigration system. It's poised to bring about significant changes that could affect not just the lives of potential immigrants, but the very fabric of Canadian society, the economy and the demographic structure. For potential immigrants, the new plan promises a more streamlined and accessible immigration process. It aims to reduce processing times and remove unnecessary barriers, making it easier for skilled workers, families and refugees to make Canada their new home. The potential for a more diverse pool of immigrants also means a richer cultural tapestry, vibrant communities and a more inclusive society. But this plan isn't just about the immigrants, it's also about Canada. It's about how Canada, as a nation, evolves and grows. It's about ensuring that Canada remains competitive in the global economy. By attracting skilled workers from around the world, Canada can continue to bolster its workforce, drive innovation and maintain its economic vibrancy. The new plan also addresses demographic challenges. With an aging population and declining birth rates, immigration is key to sustaining Canada's population growth and ensuring there's a strong workforce to support the economy. By facilitating a steady flow of young, skilled immigrants, the plan contributes to a robust and dynamic demographic structure that can support social services and pensions. Does this mean there won't be challenges? Of course not. Any change of this magnitude is bound to have its share of issues. There will be adjustments to make, systems to fine-tune and concerns to address. But by being proactive, open to feedback and committed to continuous improvement, these challenges can be managed effectively. In sum, the proposed immigration plan carries the potential to reshape Canada's future. It's a bold step towards a more inclusive and prosperous Canada. One that values diversity, embraces change and is ready to face the challenges of the 21st century head-on. Indeed, this plan could mark a new era in Canada's immigration history. So, what does the future hold for Canada's immigration system under this new plan? In our journey through this topic, we've delved into the intricacies of Canada's immigration system, its history and the new plan introduced by Minister Miller. We've discovered the key features of this new plan and speculated on its potential implications. Now, as we draw our discussion to a close, let's take a moment to revisit these key points and ponder on what this might mean for the future. The new plan, as we've learned, is a comprehensive approach to restructuring Canada's immigration system. It aims to streamline the process, making it more efficient and user-friendly. This will potentially reduce the time required to process applications and improve the overall experience for immigrants. Moreover, this plan puts an emphasis on attracting skilled immigrants, which could greatly benefit Canada's economy. It proposes to create new avenues for skilled professionals to enter the country and contribute to its growth and development. We've also learned that the plan seeks to improve the permanent residency system. 
This is a significant move as it directly impacts the lives of thousands of immigrants who dream of making Canada their permanent home. However, like any plan, its success will ultimately depend on its execution. Will the government be able to effectively implement these changes? Will they be able to balance the needs of the country with those of the immigrants? These are questions that only time can answer. The new plan certainly brings a lot of promise. Its focus on improving efficiency and fairness in the immigration process is commendable. If executed well, it could potentially transform the immigration landscape in Canada, making it more welcoming and accessible to immigrants. But as we all know, change is never easy. There will be challenges to overcome, hurdles to cross. But the spirit of change, once ignited, is hard to extinguish. It is this spirit that could propel Canada forward towards a more inclusive and diverse future. Only time will tell how this plan shapes the future of immigration in Canada, but one thing is clear. Change is on the horizon.